The royal court announced today that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa is leaving Bahrain to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia tomorrow Friday in response to an invitation from the custodian of the two holy mosques, the monarch of Saudi Arabia, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to attend a military parade of the North Thunder military drill. The exercise is the largest in the region with the preparations of 20 Arab and Islamic countries in addition to the Peninsula Shield Forces which is being held at King Khalid military city at Hafr al-Batan in the north Northern region of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued today Edict Number 10 and 11 for the year 2016, issuing the Executive Regulation of the Real Estate Regul Registration Law and the restructuring of the Board of Directors of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority (BTEA) Edict 10 stipulates that the Executive Regulation of Decree Law 15 from 1979, promulgated by the Justice and Islamic Affairs Ministers Edict 6 of 19. 80, the executive regulation of the same uh, decree law on the survey affairs promulgates uh, by Survey and Land Registration Bureau, SLRB, Chairman's Edict 36 of 2012, and all extraordinary tracks to the provisions of executive by law of the real estate registration promulgated by law 13 2013 are cancelled the slrb chairman shall implement the edict which will take effect one day after its publication in the official gazette edict 11 stipulates that the btea board of directors will be chaired by the minister of industry trade and tourism in addition to the membership of the economic development board ceo gulf air ceo the chairman of the Tourism Sector Committee at the Bahrain Chamber of Industry and Commerce, the chairman of the Exhibitions Committee at the Bahrain Chamber of Industry and Commerce, representative of Mumtalakat Company, Mr. Mohammed Sharif Ahmadi, in addition to representatives of the private sector, Mr. Rashad Rida Faraj, Mr. Faisal Khalid Kanu, and Mrs. Hana Hajji Hassan Al Ali. The members shall serve renewable four year terms. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today attended the final maneuver of the Operation North Thunder exercise at the King Khalid military city in Hafr al in Saudi Arabia. During the final exercise, which saw participation from 20 countries, His Royal Highness underscored Bahrain's firm commitment to long-term regional security under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad. In this regard, His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of unity and solidarity among its allies in order to combat regional threats. His Royal Highness emphasized that the Kingdom's participation in Operation North Thunder reflects Bahrain's commitment to ensuring lasting regional peace and stability. His Royal Highness went on to welcome the instrumental role Saudi Arabia has played under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in facilitating increased cooperation among its allies to effectively address regional security challenges. During the final maneuver, which was attended by the custodian of the two holy mosques alongside leaders from other participating countries, His Royal Highness praised the level of military capabilities that was demonstrated throughout the military exercise. The Crown Prince emphasized that the Bahrain Defense Forces role in the military exercise demonstrates their discipline and commitment to national duty and is testament to the advanced level of military training they have received. His Royal Highness also stressed that the participation of Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC countries, in addition to regional partners and allies, is a clear reflection of their commitment to lasting peace and the principles of justice and humanity.
Following the conclusion of the final exercise, His Royal Highness attended a lunch banquet hosted by the custodian of the two holy mosques in honor of the leaders and heads of state in attendance. His Royal Highness expressed his gratitude and appreciation to the custodian of the two holy mosques for his warm reception and extended best wishes for further development and prosperity to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness was accompanied at the final exercise by the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. Around 350,000 soldiers from 20 countries are taking part in the North Thunder military drill, which is considered the largest exercise in the world in terms of participating countries and forces. More in this report. The North Thunder is a military drill launched in northern Saudi Arabia before two weeks with the participation of forces representing the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, Qatar, Oman, Jordan, Egypt, Pakistan, Morocco, Tunisia, Senegal, Sudan, the Maldives, Chad, Turkey, Comoros, Djibouti, Malaysia and Mauritania in addition to the Peninsula Shield forces. The North Thunder is receiving regional and international attention as the largest military drill in the world in terms of the number of participating forces as well as the span of maneuver area. The drill is training troops on how to deal with terror groups and how to transfer from traditional to low intensity combat operations. The spokesperson for the Saudi-led Arab coalition fighting to restore legitimacy to Yemen, Brigadier Ahmed Asiri, said that when participating countries feel that there are coordinated and interdependent efforts, the result of the exercise will be positive, as they have models based on real experience of being in the Arab coalition in Yemen, where operations are running excellently and positively. Asiri said the alliance brought together Arab and Islamic forces to gain experience, and they would be prepared to protect the region's stability if needed. The drill comes in light of the growing terrorist threats as well as the political instability in the region. It also reflects the desire of the participating countries in maintaining the region's security and stability. Deputized by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, patronized today the opening of the Bahrain Diabetes Society Conference at the Gulf Hotel. More details in this report with Mohammed Al Shaban. Leading medical professionals from the region and the globe convened in Bahrain today to kick off the activities of the 5th GGSD BDS conference. The summit is being jointly organized by the Gulf Group for the Study of Diabetes and the Bahrain Diabetes Society, and it coincides with the 25th anniversary of the founding of the society. Diabetes is actually a problem actually in Bahrain and all over the Gulf, actually some kind of epidemic in the uh, Gulf. The percentage of people actually affected by diabetes, it's around 17% average. And if you, as, as you go, you know, with the, uh, as age progress, actually the age group of above 20, the uh, prevalence is much more than 17, of course. And I think that is a big problem for the old society and for the family and for the person. And because of the serious complications that you know, accompany the uh, diabetes, actually, uh, we should take it very seriously. The three-day conference hosts around 500 experts who will conduct various seminars and workshops that tackle over 30 local, global and regional research papers in the field of diabetes and endocrinology. The conference will also cater to the public and hold special sessions to those with diabetes and their caretakers to spread awareness on the disease and promote its prevention. The Gulf region are one of the hottest uh, regions uh, with the highest prevalence of diabetes. Almost 20% of the population in the Gulf, they have diabetes. So here it is very important because, you know, if uh, we say around 20% in the Gulf, that means uh, uh, almost 8 million people of uh, uh, living in the Gulf, they have diabetes. And we expect that there is another 2 million people who have diabetes, but they are undiagnosed. The conference also hosts a medical exhibition for various pharmaceutical companies that showcases the latest diagnostic and treatment modalities in diabetic health care. This gathering comes as a testament to the ongoing regional and global collaboration in the fight against diabetes within our community. 
an international conference that celebrates 25 years since the establishment of the Bahrain Diabetes Society, as we vow to continue our fight against one of the most leading non-communicable diseases, not only in the kingdom, but the region and the world. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa chaired today the Arab League meeting on the ministerial level in its 145th session, which was held at the Egyptian capital Cairo. The minister delivered a speech in which he expressed his thanks and appreciation to the UAE regarding chairing the Arab League ministerial meeting in its previous session and for its role in reaching decisions that would contribute in enhancing joint Arab action. He also hailed the remarkable efforts of the Arab League Secretary General Dr. Nabil Arabi and the Arab League General Secretariat for their constant follow-up. The foreign minister highlighted the importance of overcoming the challenges posed by the terrorist organizations in Arab countries. In his speech, the minister called on the international community and the Security Council to assume their responsibilities regarding reaching a fair solution of the Palestinian cause. He also reaffirmed Bahrain's firm stance regarding Iran's occupation of the UAE islands and uh, condemned Iran's constant interference in Arab countries' internal affairs and its role in training terrorists and smuggling weapons. To the Syrian topic, the minister affirmed the importance of reaching a political solution in accordance with UN Security Council Resolution 2165 and 2254 and called on the major world powers to exert more efforts in order to reach an agreement on the Syrian crisis. The minister also stressed the Saudi-led Arab coalition's keenness to continue its operations in Yemen in order to restore legitimacy in the country. He also highlighted the necessity of a political solution based on the GCC initiative and its work mechanisms. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed lauded the efforts exerted regarding enhancing the Iraqi and national partnership in order to overcome all threats posed by the ISIL terrorist group and the Hezbollah terrorist organization. He also expressed hope in reaching a solution of forming a national reconciliation government in Libya as to achieve the aims and aspirations of the Libyan people. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa announced the support of Bahrain for Ahmed Abu Ghait as the candidate of Egypt who will take over Dr. Nabil Arabi as Secretary General of the Arab League. The minister noted that uh, this support was uh, conveyed in an official letter sent by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi. He said the letter affirmed Bahrain's full support for the candidate and readiness to cooperate with the new Secretary General of the Arab League to succeed his mission in promoting pan Arab action, strengthening its institutions and mechanisms, supporting Arab interests, and confronting the challenges and various threats facing the Arab countries and people. Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister Zayed bin Rashid Al Ziyani led, Bahr or led Bahrain's delegation to the International Tourism Boards of ITB 2016, being held in Berlin, Germany, on March 9th until the 13th. The Bahrain Authority for Tourism and Exhibitions is playing an active role at the international platform to promote the kingdom's latest strides and developments in the hospitality sector. The event also offered the venue for participants to meet tourism firms from all over the world and discuss trade transactions which contribute to developing the national economy. Bahrain's delegation features this year 12 participants including hotels, tourism and travel companies and other related establishments. Bahrain Authority for Tourism and Exhibitions joined efforts with the Kingdom's national carrier Gulf Air, Bahrain International Circuit BIC and the Elite Hotel Group to promote the Pavilion in the International Tourism Board's ITB 2016. The Pavilion launched a daily contest Test for businessmen and tourists and the winners will be offered two plane tickets along with two Formula One tickets along with accommodation at one of the elite hotels. The joint naval exercise among Gulf Cooperation Council Union 18 continues today with the participation of Royal Bahrain Naval Force and GCC Naval Forces in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The drill aims to increase the participating forces' readiness and enhance joint cooperation and coordination in the military field among GCC countries.
The public prosecution charged Kuwaiti national Abdul Hamid Abbas Hussein Dashti with involvement through coercion and assistance in illegal public fundraising in contravention of the penal code and the public fundraising regulatory law. The prosecution referred the case against the suspect to a lower criminal court which on the 15th and 12th of 2015 issued an executable two-year jail sentence against him in absentia. In, a plea, in compliance with the court verdict, the public prosecution addressed the judiciary authority in the state of Kuwait to take its actions regarding notification to the convicted Abdul Hamid Deshti about the court ruling. The prosecution is awaiting reply to confirm serving him notification about the court ruling. The public prosecution statement said once the verdict was publicized and time elapsed without the convict challenging the verdict, a final court ruling will be issued and the prosecution will accordingly take action to arrest the convict in compliance with the verdict which will be circulated internationally through the Interpol.